A beaver pond leveling device can be used as a mitigation strategy to address beaver conflict. Beaver dams pose multiple problems for transportation entities, including plug culverts and impounding water, causing it to come into conflict with road systems. These devices enable the water level to be controlled in the beaver dam area, allowing water to flow through the dam. When beavers hear or see running water from a dam break, they act to repair it. By using a leveling device, beavers are fooled into thinking that their dam is okay. Using a pond leveling device is likely the best choice where the habitat is favorable and where the ecological benefit of having a beaver population is desired. This also assumes physical characteristics at the location will support the device. Likely, this will be a site with a dam that has been in existence for at least two years with an established wetland that needs to be maintained. This video will demonstrate how one of these devices can be installed and different designs to consider. Please note, when there is a beaver management issue, Fish and Wildlife should be contacted so you can consider the options and laws in place regarding beaver management. Next, we will take a look at the installation of a pond leveling system that took place in 2005 in Lamoille County by Fish and Wildlife with the assistance of Steve Jerome from Vermont Local Roads. Before deciding to use a pond leveling system, the site will first need to be visited by a representative of Fish and Wildlife. Once approved, and you have the leveler to install, start off by notching the dam to create a trough wide enough to fit the pipe into easily. Dig the notch to the point needed to lower the water to the desired level. If you want to lower it a foot, make the notch a foot. Attach the reducer and outflow pipes to the leveler. Position the leveler near or on the beaver dam with the reducer and outflow pipes pointed downstream. Have one person guide the leveler into the pond. It's useful to use floats or a canoe. While another one or two people make sure the outflow pipe stays positioned in the notch. Sink the leveler until it is completely submerged, getting the air out of the pipe. Once sunk, pass the dam and weigh the pipe in the notch down with logs and mud from the dam. Water will be visible flowing through the outflow pipe opening. Beavers will likely repair the notch further, but after having the leveler correctly installed, the new, lower water level will be maintained.
The device featured in this video is the classic Clemson Beaver Leveler design. There are many types of these devices to choose from depending on where it will be installed. The Clemson Leveler works best in shallow water and in situations where a beaver dam is blocking a culvert. This design can be plugged by leaves and sediment, so the installation location will need to be one that can be accessed to perform needed maintenance after installation. A cylindrical beaver baffle, pictured here, is used in deeper water where water exceeds 4 feet in depth. The larger mesh size allows leaves and vegetation to pass through, while being large enough to prevent an adult beaver from passing through. Installation will likely need a boat or a canoe. Fencing is another option to consider building around culverts to exclude beavers. This structure consists of sturdy sharpened cedar posts which are installed approximately 5 feet apart. The poles may be braced on the inside to help prevent ice damage. The trapezoid shape appears to work well as it apparently confuses the beaver. A rugged wire mesh-like concrete reinforcing wire may be stapled to the poles. The larger mesh openings also would provide smaller mammals, such as minks and muskrats, the ability to move through the enclosure. Some maintenance is required. For further information about beavers, pond leveling devices, and additional mitigation strategies, contact the Vermont Department of Fish and Wildlife or Vermont Local Roads.